I gotta do my recording. Are you recording? Again? Yes! Oh. I wanted to record me eating some nerds. <sighs> I'm such a nerd. Sammy Casey. It's Sammy Casey! <laughs> It's Sammy Casey. It's Sammy Casey. Sammy Casey, you get it. It's Sammy Casey. Wait, oh, it's Sammy Casey. <laughs> this is my second attempt at recording this because I was doing the first one and I realized the lighting was really bad and then on top of that everybody kept on interrupting me Tasia came over Julia came in the room you know my dad called and then Eddie came over and it was just a free-for-all for people so I'm gonna try this a second time and hopefully it kind of turns out hopefully Fingers crossed. Now, if any of you use Yahoo, you have seen the news, the front page news has been about Walmart, it's been about McDonald's, and it's been about porn. I'm going to talk about all three of those because I'm cool like that. First one, Walmart. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Only hillbillies go there. Really, really really poor people. Well, that's kind of what Walmart thinks. So, they decided, with their crashing sales, they would make their prices lower, and maybe people would buy more, and it would help their market. They didn't realize just how stupid that was. This umbrella used to be $3, so now it's $1.50. Well, yeah, well, now I can afford it, but... If this is all I buy, you're only making $1.50 off of me. You're not really making any more of a profit. Yeah, so that's kind of what happened. They failed, they bombed, they crashed, and now they're even more in the shithole than they were before. Good for you, Walmart. Your Miley Cyrus t-shirt. Then you had this really, really dumb woman who took McDonald's. She bought it, and then she put it on her shelf for six months. And then she opened the bag and found that it looked exactly the same way it did when she first bought it, except it was rock hard. And was surprised. And now people are outraged, saying, McDonald's is fake, and it's bad for you. Newsflash! Everybody knew that already. It's not news. It's nothing special. And quite honestly, after reading that, I really wanted to go get Burger King. Just because it resisted decomposition for six months... It doesn't really say anything different than we didn't already know. McDonald's is made out of beef, it's made out of, you know, bread, it's made out of vegetables, but it's also made out of preservatives. And like, it's frozen. It's not natural. So, anybody out there who is outraged by this article because they think McDonald's is jipping them? Stop eating, Addie. And then, in completely, completely unrelated news, the porn industry had a big shock today. Oh my god, no, Kim Kardashian died. No. There's this company, I don't remember the name of it, I didn't really they care. They found that a lot of their actresses and actors in their porn films came out HIV positive. So they had to shut down. And, again, people were kind of like, Oh no! The porn people! They have HIV! It's the end of the world! Our porn's missing! How is this news? You're gonna make a living out of sleeping with people? You're gonna get stuff. Maybe a cold? Maybe some kind of blister? Maybe a strained muscle? But more than likely, you're gonna end up getting a sexually transmitted disease. 
Probably HIV. Or herpes. I don't know. People are stupid. Now, in the spirit of Halloween, I feel that I should share with you, my viewers, friends, family, people suckered into watching it, I have a really irrational fear of clowns. Now, the only reason I bring this up is because yesterday I had a really long conversation with someone about it. Eddie. And we both agreed that our fear of clowns comes from the movie It, which we were forced to watch as really young kids. Now you're saying, oh, well, that's not really real. He's a big monster looking like a clone, and it's a fake movie, blah, 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 blah. I just want to point something out. Most of these guys are like 40 years old. They wear makeup, fake wigs, big nose, big shoes, and they pull scarves out of their mouth from their throat, candy out of random body areas, and coins from behind kids' ears, and then give it to them and bribe them. What is not creepy about that? Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if you're going to be afraid of something irrationally, I think clowns are actually pretty rational. The teeth and the blood from it, it's disgusting. I'm pre-warning anybody who plans to come to my room just like a clown for Halloween. I'll probably punch you out, and you're not getting any in my candy. So, just warning you. On a more serious note... He's just secretly white. I thought it might be healthy if I talked about politics. Don't know why I said it was healthy. But in my mind, as I'm seeing it, politics plus old people equals our government today. Politics plus young people equals the future. But, in the future, we will no longer, no longer, blah, 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 blah. we will no longer be the young people. We will be the old people. We will be making choices that the young people don't agree with. And for some reason, politics and the, the people and the government are saying that we're the future, we're gonna make the future, blah -de blah 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 blah. That's not really a good way to get kids involved. I know, personally, I could really care less about politics. Because no matter what I believe, there's always going to be somebody who doesn't believe what I believe. And they're probably going to end up being the ones winning, because they're douchebags. So I'm just going to kind of wait and see it out, and see if there's actually going to be anyone of you know my age in the future who actually has a voice that's any different from their father, who's probably the governor of some other city before them. I really didn't think that much about it earlier. I kind of saw it and was like, oh, it might be interesting to bring up. Maybe I get some older viewers and my dad will kind of forgive me for the whole porn thing. Sorry. I have some freaking fantastic news. And I think everybody needs to know why I'm so thrilled. I, Sammy Casey, have pre-ordered Dragon Age 2 for the PS3. <sighs> I'm a little excited. In March, I will get a phone call and they will tell me that GameStop has received my game and I can come pick it up. And I will drive three hours out of my way and pick up this game and bring it back and play it non-stop for two months until I leave school and then go home. Unfortunately, between me getting the game and me leaving school, I have finals. I'm probably gonna play Dragon Age every day. Unless there's a Dragon Age class, then I'll pass. But I heard that Steve Valentine recorded some voice acting for the game, and he, if you don't already know, is the one who plays Alistair, who's just about the most amazing video game character in the history of video game characters. And um, that's all about what I wanted to talk about. I'm going to edit this and probably put in some clips from my first video, which is a little bit funnier because I wasn't really so tired. 
and of all the people walking into my room saying funny things. It's not even facing you anymore. <laughs> Stop it. I think that's not fair. You don't give me a guess. I, I don't even remember what I was going to say. So, until Friday, Sammy Casey, bye. Yeah. Just vlogging, but she doesn't have It's recording, so. Hi. <laughs> Is that going online? Nope. Not, not yet. It's time to edit it. Because he was not interrupting. <laughs> Love. You know, I said you know, Hey. Hey. Woo! Eddie. Yeah. Mm, Eddie. <laughs> She's obviously posing. <laughs> Don't send it this way. You know, just She's going to tell you. Asia. There's Kelly. There's Kelly. 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 That looks so awkward. We cannot even see, like... Wow! Well, I